Hey guys, it's me Pokemon Maniac 1333 here, and today I've completed another set. And this set is Noble Victories, completed on March 10th, 2012. Did not buy a booster box of this set, so that's why I'm completing it a little bit later. And uh, this was also the set that I went to my first pre release at. I had to drive 110 miles to get there. But I'm really glad I did. There's a couple hollows. Introducing Victini in this set. Volcarona. What's your guys' opinion on this set? It was pretty good. It bumped up a lot of ultra rares. For a while, the most expensive card was this one. Kyrem, who was up there like $20 or so. The card that's used a lot now is this Electric. 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 <laughs> I feel bad for Electros. It's not even used at all, really. Another Victini. Over here to Cofagrigus. Cofagrigus, however you say it. To Rionicus. That was the. One of the last ones I needed was the one with the city. Going through the psychics. A lot of psychic types in this set. Shindelure was pretty good for a while. Conkolder Hollow. The last hollow I needed. Archaeops was the last card I needed to complete the set. Ugh, I can't believe that. I got the secret rare and all the full arts before Archaeops. I mean, what? Couple hollows here. Drag out. The sixteenth set, if I didn't say. Got the trainers and pretty playable trainer. Full arts. Verizion, Victini, Terrakion. Got three Victini <laughs> all at once. Cobalion was the second to last card I needed. I remember N was $22. When I got back from the pre release, I looked it up. It was $22, and I bought that for three. Kind of a shame. And Secret Rare Me Out. So that's the 16th set in my quest. Complete was Noble Victories. Stay tuned. I got a couple more complete sets to show you today. Thank you, and see you later.